do another video everybody this is uh rich peter kemper here and uh this video is going to be uh indexing the turret on a lathe with live tooling so after you home out the, the machine that's our first video homing your second video is going to be indexing the turret around so you can see the different tools okay so when you index the turret it's very important to make sure that your machine is at home tell it's at home by looking at the home buttons you come back here on the bottom right of the control, you see a little button here for opening the door. You hit that button, hold it down, and then it'll let you open the door. Okay, now we got our door open. Now, if you look in here, you see we got all kinds of tools hanging out and everything. Could you imagine what would happen if you indexed the turret Can you imagine what would happen if you indexed the turret when it was right next to the tailstock? Well, about 500 pounds of crazy force will go smashing right into there and it would throw the whole thing off. So you want to make sure that it's homed out before you do a tool change. So we're going to go to home. We see that it's away from home. So if it's away from home, then we go towards home. X towards home. Hold it down. X is going home, stops moving, look up here, make sure it's at home. Okay, now to index a turret, you've got to push MF1 and MF2 at the same time. Okay, so MF1 looks like a little finger here, and MF2 looks like a little finger too. And the reason they do that is so it makes you put one hand on the control here with your left hand, and then you use your other finger to push this button down here to index the turret. It uh, makes sure that you can't have one of your arms in the machine. So it's a safety feature that makes sure one of your arms isn't in the machine. So again, index the turret. You want to be in any manual mode, which is either home, times a thousand, times a hundred, times ten, or times one. Any one of these or home is all manual modes. <clears throat> you want to press MF1. MF2, hold them down, then come down here and then press the third index button. Now, if you look, you got an F and an R on there. You can spin this to R to go right handed, spin it this way to go left handed. Okay? So, again, MF1 and MF2, look inside the machine. And that's how you index the turret. So MF1, MF2, hit the button, index the turret. Hit the button, index the turret. Now you could also jog it around. So you can go to times a thousand here. You can go to Z on the Z selector. And that'll move left and right and it'll bring the tool a little bit forward. Be very careful of the truck right here. And then you can go to X, and then you can bring the turret down closer to you if you wanted to get a closer look at the tool. A lot of times when the tool's way up here, you can't get a good look at it. Now that I got the tool front and center, now I can look in there, I can look at the corners of the drill, I can look at the collet, make sure my coolant hose is on there good, make sure everything looks good, it's tight, it's clean, make sure the collet's tight, um, and just inspect your tool. Okay, now to index to the next tool, you gotta make sure that you go home, home button, X away from home, you gotta make sure you home it out. And you can actually go X and Z at the same time if you're further, if you're far enough in X. Okay, that concludes the video on teaching tools, or no, that concludes the video on indexing the turret and doing some simple jog moves um, with going to uh, times a thousand, uh, times a hundred is slower, times ten is super slow, times one is uh, super turtle, and then uh, here's your access select switch there. Okay, so thank you very much for watching, and uh, look forward to our next video.